six-year-old boy um, who was fatally stabbed um, in a uh, suburb of the Chicago area. An Illinois six-year-old boy was killed and his mother was critically injured when they were stabbed by a man who targeted them because they were Muslim in the wake of the war between Israel and Hamas. Uh, we have Fox 32's Nate Rogers out, uh, you know, in the field reporting for us here. This is a uh, horrific story, Nate. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what we heard during a press conference today and, and generally give us a wrap on what we know so far about the situation? Absolutely, Austin. Um, good evening to you. A lot more details came out in court today about the suspect and really what may have led him to this very heinous attack. Mourners did leave the mosque foundation calling for peace um, and honoring the six-year-old. And we have to say his name, six-year-old Wadea. right now. Now, earlier in the day, 71-year-old Joseph Zuba, he appeared before a Will County judge charged with various, um, facing various charges. Those charges include first-degree murder, attempted murder, two hate crimes, and aggravated battery. Prosecutors say the landlord stabbed six-year-old Wadea 26 times. Also, his mother stabbed more than a dozen times inside their Plainfield home where they had been renting from the suspect. This is taking place Saturday morning. Now, according to court documents, the child mother told detectives the suspect knocked on her door saying he was mad about what was happening in Jerusalem. He, we heard from Wadea's uncle um, following today's funeral. He described him as a typical kid, very loving, one who loved to um, play video games and jump up and down. Take a listen. That when he was dead, he was last words to his mom. Mom, I'm fine. You know what? He is fine. He's in a better place. Thank you. In Austin tonight, the mother remains in the hospital. We're told at last check she's listed in serious condition. Um, we do know that the suspect is due back in court at the end of the month. He's being held without bond. Um, also, a vigil is taking place in honor of the six-year-old Wadea in Plainfield on tomorrow. Um, finally, again, just a lot more details coming out in court. Apparently, the mother had gone inside of a bathroom. She, well, let me even take a step back. She, the suspect, we're told, knocked on her door. She opened the door, um, telling detectives that she'd had no bad track record with the suspect in the past. She let him inside. Then, according to um, details that came out in court, he allegedly first choked her, then went towards towards stabbing her first. She was able to run into a bathroom, but while she was on the phone calling 9111, we're told the suspect allegedly was then stabbing her son, again, a total of 26 times. The most horrible thing that we've heard throughout all of this is when six-year-old Wadea, um, when his body was taken for an autopsy, there was still a, a knife lodged inside of his abdomen. Very disturbing details here again. Um, Muslim officials today calling for fairness, also calling for accountability. That is the latest here, sir, in Bridgeview. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Nate, horrifying stuff. One thing uh, before you go here. Uh, do we know anything more about the suspect in this situation? Have we perhaps talked to his neighbors? Do we know anything about the character of this person? Yeah, absolutely, um, Austin. We spent a couple of hours yesterday going door to door speaking to neighbors. I found one neighbor who, t who described him as a friendly guy. She said that um, she needed some, some roof repairs done and even had some issues with her gutter. She said the 71-year-old climbed on her roof um, and, and helped her with those different repairs that were, were needed. Um, he had also built a tree house for this kid um, in, in their backyard. That was confirmed by the family. But more details that we learned in court, detectives were able to interview his wife. The wife said that he had been um, a troubled man for some time. He apparently had been listening to conservative radio for some time. The, the, um, the, the victim had described him as a very angry man who had been beating his wife allegedly over some time. So just we're learning more about him. Um, authorities did say that he does not have a criminal past, but as a result of this very heinous attack, a judge did decide to keep him 
in jail um, until um, the, his next court appearance. Fox 32's Nate Rogers joining us. Nate, thank you for your time. Okay. And we're going to take another two-minute break. We'll be yes, right sir. back on Live Now.